Good morning to all. Welcome back to Math Class. In the last chapter, we have learned about polynomials and their addition, subtraction and multiplication. We have also learned the three standard identities and their usage. Hope you all have understood the last chapter. Correct? Yes. Today, we start our new chapter. The 12th chapter, Exponents and Powers. This chapter is also very simple and easy to learn. Okay, we are familiar with the word power. So, in a number, power represents the number of times. Number of times that number occurs. We know that x square, x square equal to 2 times x, x into x. That's the meaning, x square equal to 2 times x, x into x. Like 2 power 5 is read as 2 raised to the power 5. It is read as 2 raised to the power 5. And it, it can be written as 5 times 2. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 5 times 2. And also, we know that 1000. 1000 can be written as 1000. The number 1000 can be written as in the power 4. That is 10 power 3. 10 to the power 3. Here we count the number of zeros and write that number as power as it power okay thousand here three zeros are here so we can write this as 10 power 3 that is 10 into 10 into 10 which is equal to thousand like one lakh how can you write th one lakh in power form in power notation Yes, 1 lakh equal to, equal to, yes it is 10 power 5. Here, 5 zeros are here. Okay, so that is the power notation. So the word exponents means power itself. Exponents means power or power notation. Okay. So, in this number, 2 power 5, here 5 is called the power and 2 is called the base, base number. Okay, we know that, power and base. Okay, then 10, what is 10 power 2, that is 10 square. 10 square equal to, yes, it is 2 times 10. That is 10 into 10 equal to 100. Okay, 10 square equal to 100. Then what is 10 power 1? Yes, 10 power 1, only 1 10. So, which is equal to 10 itself. Then what about 10 raised to 0? Do you know that? 10 raised to 0? Yes. We know that 10 raised to 0 equal to equal to 1. That is 10 by 10. The whole, whole number that is 1. We have learned this from our earlier classes. Any number raised to the power 0 is 1 itself. Any number raised to the power 0 is 1 itself. Okay, then what about 2 raised to 0? Yes, which is equal to 1. 3 raised to 0? Equal to 1. So, any number raised to the power is 0. Okay, we know that 3 raised to 0 equal to 1. Actually, it is 3 by 3, the whole number that is 1. Okay, then what about 3 raised to minus 1, negative 1? Do you know that negative 1 is less than 0? 
negative 1. It is an integer. It is less than 0. So, 3 power minus 1 equal to equal to 1 by 3. Less than 1. So, 1 by 3. 3 power negative 1. Minus 1 equal to 1 by 3. Okay. Because it is less than 0. Minus 1 is an integer. Less than 0. So, this is 1 by 3. Then what about 3 raised to minus 2? 3 raised to minus 2. Yes. One, 3 raised to minus 1 is 1 by 3. So, 3 raised to minus 2 is 1 by 3 divided by 1, 3. Okay, one more. 3. 1 by 3 divided by 3. Which is equal to, yes, we know the rule. Fractional multiplication, uh, division. We change the operation, division into multiplication with the reciprocal. 3. Reciprocal is 1 by 3. So, 3 power minus 2 becomes 1 by 3 square. Clear? 3 power minus 1 is simply 1 by 3 because it is less than 1. Minus 1 is less than 0. So, 3 power minus 1 is 1 by 3. 3 raised to minus 2 is 1 by 3 power 2. Okay. Like... 4 raised to minus 2 equal to, yes, 4 raised to minus 2 equal to 1 by 4 raised to 2. Clear? So, in general, any number, in general, we can say that for any non-zero integer a, in general, we can say that any non-zero integer a, a power minus m equal to 1 by a raised to m. So, this is the general form. For any non-zero integer a, we can say that a power minus m equal to 1 by a power m. 1 by a power m. Negative power becomes 1 by m a power m. Okay. Here m is a integer. Non-zero integer. Okay. So a power minus m equal to 1 by a power m. Here a power minus m is the multiplicative inverse of a power m. A power minus m is the multiplicative inverse of a power m. What is multiplicative inverse? Do you remember it? Yes, we have learned multiplicative inverse, additive inverse, reciprocal, etc. From the first chapter. Do you remember that? What is multiplicative inverse? Yes, multiplicative inverse of a number is ah, just invert the number. That is multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative inverse of 1 by 4. Multiplicative inverse of 1 by 4 is yes, 4 by 1. It is equal to 4. Okay, just, just inverse form. Okay, reverse form. Then what about the multiplicative inverse of 2 by 5? The multiplicative inverse of 2 by 5 equal to? Yes, it is 5 by minus 2. Okay, just the fraction inverted with the same sign. 5 by negative 2. That is multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative inverse means reciprocal of the fraction. Okay, that is multiplicative inverse. Now, what about the multiplicative inverse of minus 7? The multiplicative inverse of minus 7 is, yes, reciprocal is 1 by 7. So, the multiplicative inverse of minus 7 is 1 by minus 7. With the same sign. Okay, that is multiplicative inverse. Just the fraction inverted. 
Now what is additive inverse? Additive inverse means yes, the same number with opposite sign. That is additive inverse. So additive inverse of 4. Additive inverse of plus 4 is minus 4. Additive inverse of minus 3 is plus 3. Okay, just opposite sign with the same number. That is additive inverse. Now it's clear. So here in our general form, a raised to minus m equal to 1 by a raised to m. Here a raised to minus m is the multiplicative inverse of a raised to m. So what is the multiplicative inverse of a raised to m? Yes, 1 by a raised to m. Just number a raised to m, its multiplicative inverse is 1 by a raised to m. Which is equal to a raised to minus m. Okay, so a raised to minus m is, is the multiplicative inverse of a raised to m. Okay, clear. Now, we are going to discuss some exponential, some important exponential laws. That is, laws of exponents. Already we learned some laws in our previous classes, in our earlier classes. Okay, let us recall all the exponential laws that we have learned. Okay, first one. a raised to m into a raised to n equal to what? a raised to m into a raised to n equal to? Yes, it is equal to a raised to m plus n. a raised to m into a raised to n equal to? Into, into. So, this is equal to a raised to m plus n. Well, m and n are any integers. Okay. Here a is the base. So this is the first exponential law that we have already learned. a raised to m into a raised to n equal to a raised to m plus n. Okay. The second also we have learned from our seventh standard. What is that? Division law. This is multiplication law. Now, division law, that is a raised to m divided by a raised to m equal to, yes, which is equal to minus of the power, that is a raised to m minus n. Multiplication, then, which is equal to plus, plus the powers of the numbers. Okay, exponents. So, a raised to m plus n. Division law, we have to subtract the powers. So, that is a power a minus n. Okay, now third one. What is the third exponential law? Okay, that is a raised to m whole raised to n. a raised to m whole raised to n equal to a raised to m into n. m into n, that is m n. So, a raised to m whole power n, whole raised to n equal to, just to multiply the powers, that is a raised to m n, m into n. That is the third law. Now, the fourth one. What is the fourth one? Yes, a raised to m into b raised to m. Here the powers are same. Powers m, m. Both the powers are same but bases are different. So what is the law? a raised to m into b raised to m equal to? Yes, it is equal to a b whole power m. a b whole power m. Because here bases are different. So, just multiply the base A into B, then whole power M. Same power. Okay. Now, one more law is there. What is that? Yes. A, A by B, all power M. Here, A into B, all power M. This is A by B, 
a divided by b whole power m can be written as a power m divided by b power m. Okay, this is the next exponential law. We use these laws for solving or simplifying exponential forms or power forms. Okay, now one more that already we told that is a raised to zero equal to yes any number raised to the power zero equal to one. Okay, then a raised to minus m we already discussed a raised to minus m equal to one by a raised to m. Okay, so study all these exponential laws. Okay. Now use this laws to solve some questions. Okay. okay, let us solve some examples using the laws of exponents. First one, find the value of 2 power minus 3. Find the value of 2 power minus 3. So uh, which law we can use here? Yes, a power minus m. A power minus m equal to 1 by a raised to m. Okay, a raised to m. So, just apply the law. A, this is a power minus m. Here our a equal to 2, m equal to minus 3, which is equal to 1 by 2 power 3. So, just simplify. Find the value of 2 power 3, which is equal to 1 by 2 power 3, 2 into 2 into 2, equal to 1 by 8 is the value. 2 power minus 3 equal to 1 by 8. Okay. Very simple. Easy to apply the laws. Now second question. 1 by 3 power minus 2. 1 by 3 power minus 2. Okay. So here a power minus m. So multiplicative inverse. A power 2. M. Plus. Okay. That is. 1 by 3 raised to minus 2 becomes 3 raised to 2 only. Just. Okay. A raised to minus m equal to 1 by A raised to m. Here 1 by A raised to minus m is given. So which is equal to A power m. M only. Okay. That is 3 power 2. Which is equal to 3 into 3. 3 power 2 means 9. Okay. Clear. Now third one. Another law. 2 by 3 all power minus 2. So uh, which law is this? A by B whole power M. Okay. We use we can use that law. A by B whole power M equal to A power M divided by B power M. Here minus 2 is the power. So we can write this as 2 power minus 2 divided by 3 power minus 2. Both powers Having the negative sign. Okay. So what is 2 power minus 2? Yes. 2 power minus 2 can be written as 1 by 2 power 2. Okay. We can write this as 2 power minus 2 is simply 1 by 2 power 2. Now into what is this? Actually this is 1 by 3 power minus 2. What is 1 by 3 power minus 2? Apply. 1 by a raised to minus m equal to a raised to m. So this becomes, yes, this becomes 3 raised to 2. 1 into 3 raised to 2 divided by 2 raised to 2. Okay, here we use that law. a raised to minus m equal to 1 by a raised to m in both numerator and denominator. First, you can use here 2 raised to minus 2 become 1 by 2 raised to 2. Now separate this. 3. This is actually 1 by 3 raised to minus 2. 1 by 3 raised to minus 2 become just 3, ra 3 raised to 2. 3 raised to 2 divided by 2 raised to 2. Which is equal to 3 raised to 2, 9. 2 raised to 2, 4. So 9 by 4 is the answer. Clear. So use, apply the laws correctly. Okay. Now, next question. Find the value. Minus 4 whole power 5 into 
minus 4. 4 power minus 10. Okay, bases are same, powers are different. Into. So, here we apply the multiplication, multiplicative inverse. Exponential law. Okay. So, what is that? A power n into A power n equal to? Yes. Plus a power m plus n. Here a equal to minus 4. m and n are 5 and minus 10. So just add 5 plus minus 10. Addition of powers. 5 plus this is minus 10. So what is this? Minus 4 raised to what is plus 5 and minus 10. How to add? Yes, apply the integer addition law. So, subtract and put the greater number sign that is 10 minus 5, 5 and greater number sign is minus 5. Now, what is this? A power minus m. What is A power minus m? 1 by A power m. Okay, minus sign. So, here A equal to minus 4 and power 5. So, this is a simplified form of this form. Okay, this power form. So, 1 by minus 4 power 5. Clear? Okay. So, first study. Learn the laws. Study the laws correctly and apply wherever it necessary. Okay. Now, another question. Find M. Another type question. Find M such that Minus 3 power m plus 1. A, another model. Find m so that minus 3 power m plus 1 into minus 3 power 5 equal to minus 3 power 7. Here we have to find the value of m. Find m so that this is the condition. So here we can apply the law. A power m into a power n equal to a power m plus n. Their answer is minus 3 power 7. Okay, let's find out. So, here base is minus 3. This is m, this is n. So, just add m plus 1 plus 1. Okay, what is this? Okay, equal to this side is minus 3 power 7. Now, we can simplify this. Minus 3 power 1 plus 5. Just add 1 plus 5 equal to 6. So, here the power becomes m plus 6 equal to minus 3 power 7. Now, look here. Here, on both sides of this equation, bases are same. Minus 3, minus 3. Okay, bases are same. So, their powers must be same. So, just equate. So, we can equate the powers because their bases are same. That is m plus 6 equal to, here the power, just equate the powers only, m plus 6 equal to 7. Therefore, m equal to, yes, just to subtract, 7 minus 6 equal to 1. 7 minus 6, 1. So, the value of m is here, 1. Okay, just to put 1 plus 1. Value of m equal to 1. So, 1 plus 1 becomes 2. Here, power 5. So, what is the value? Minus 3. 5 plus 2, 7. Correct answer. LHS equal to RHS. Okay. So, you can find the value of m in this way. Now, it's clear. Okay. Many, some, many examples are there. Anyway, let us discuss all the type of questions in the uh, online class. Okay, we will discuss it in the online class. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day.